Hey Leo, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ana Eileen and we're going to tap into some general messages for you guys today. So please tap into your intuition, honor your higher self, okay, by using your discernment to take the messages that resonate for you. And please do me a favor and hit that like button, Leo, all right? All right, it says give your creativity the space it needs to flourish. We have our new moon card, okay? I'm actually doing this reading like literally during the new moon in Sagittarius. So let's get it for real, for real. All right. Give your creativity the space it needs to flourish. What I have noticed with your fellow fire sign in this new moon with all of the signs, there has been a common theme about, you know, coming back into creative spaces, you know, get coming out of creative blocks, freeing up energy so you can be more creative. OK, coming out of rigid spaces, you know. Um, and that makes sense. Sagittarius is all of that. Right. So let's uh, let's tap in and see what messages are here for you today. OK, we do have the hangman in reverse. OK, so I'm seeing some impatience there. I even heard impatience when that card came out. OK, feels like there is something more about you enjoying the journey right now. I'm still going to get all your cards out, but I'm already kind of getting messages. Okay, yeah, so you're really feeling this coming out of rigid rigidity because what I see, Leo, is like you have been kind of used to maybe working hard, working tirelessly, okay? And I feel like you're coming more into a space of leisure, luxury, relaxation, things coming to you without having to do all that extra stuff, okay? Bottom of the deck, energy. See what I'm talking about? The Empress. That's that. Leisure, luxury, things coming to you easily. All right. Yeah. Injustice. Period. It's time. It's time for things to balance out. You put in enough work. So um, let's see. The high priest is here. So there was some impatience in the past. Look at you on the bottom of the deck. King of Wands, Ace of Wands. Impatience. Why? Because you knew where you saw yourself. You knew you belonged there right say for instance you were working i don't know you're nine to five whatever and i'm not shutting nine to fives or whatever but that's like a common thing right somebody working a job and wanting to start a business and you see yourself you saw yourself in the business all the long right but it was just like the journey and the little steps to get to that final destination and that's the impatience that i felt in the past but that's why you are here in the present at this three of cups enjoying things more okay yeah, three of pentacles. And I also saw the five of wands, which is a Leo card. A lot of you, there was this impatience and a little bit of frustration in the past because if there was a field that you're in that includes, of course, it includes other people, right? You could have felt like, oh my God, like I am so much more skilled than these people. I'm so much more talented. I am way more creative, right? So there was a sense of like this impatience then, okay? Tell me, cups. Yeah, six of cups here. See, you're tapping more into the joy. This is your present energy. Three of cups, six of cups. That is childlike energy. Leo, you would know that best. You are the happiest card in the deck, which is the sun. So tapping into this inner child energy and all that means, right? Because I feel like people can get a little like, oh, I don't want to hear about the inner child. <laughs> All that really means is just like doing those things that really like you genuinely have fun doing it. You smile, you laugh. It gives you that just warm feeling inside. It's different for everyone, right? But and, and for some people, it's going back to something in childhood, you know, or, or tapping back into something. Maybe you used to paint. So you start painting again and your inner child is so happy. It loves it. It's eating it up. It's eating it up. You're getting creative downloads. Your creative block is lifting, right? We get so hunkered down in what we call the real world and growing up. And, you know, you just got to forget. You got to grow up. You got to, you know, but it's just like we cannot sleep on the imagination. We cannot sleep on creativity. Okay. If we tap into that, I feel like as adults, you know, there are ways to, because I get it, we live in a 3D world. There are ways to make that, that stuff work for you. 
Okay, let's see what we have here. Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Cups in reverse, Three of Wands, and the Page of Wands. And I feel like that's what you're doing. You're trying to make this life work for you. So some of you are changing jobs, like completely different fields, okay? Because something has not been fulfilling you. And remember, we're coming out of rigid rigidity here, okay? With this uh, new moon, it feels like in Sagittarius, it is more free flowing. Okay, look at temperance, Sagittarius right there page of wands you know so i do see you leo um there could be a little bit of discovery going on for you if you're looking for a job i see some of you doing that there's a lot of exploration going on here um okay cups the knight of wands six of pentacles here and the hierophant this guy Okay, and the three of pentacles in reverse, four of swords, and the five of wands. Okay, so again, I feel like spirit is asking you to simplify. Seriously, I feel like spirit is really asking you to simplify right now, Leo. Okay, the knight of wands and the two of cups. I also feel like spirit is saying if the, you're going to have a creative spark or something around this time when you see this reading, around the time of the new moon period, because that's when I'm doing it. You are going to have a creative spark or something that comes up. And I feel like spirit just wants you to focus on that. Okay. Cause the three of pentacles is in reverse. So I, I feel like spirit is saying, go with the passion of it first. Just go where that leads you right safely. Of course, don't necessarily think about the money of it or how to monetize it yet or anything like that. It's just like, let the, let, let the fun lead you. Let the passion lead you. Okay. Um, spirit is saying right now, because even trying to think about it too much, you might, you might condense it too much. When spirit trying to give you something a lot bigger, you might be condensing it too much by overthinking it. And so I feel like spirit is saying at this time, at this time, right? Cause different times call for different actions. I feel like at this time, spirit is saying, just kind of lean into the fun of it all. Knight of wands, two of cups, lean into the spontaneity of it all, you know, and let that, let that, let that guide you. Okay. Let's clarify this uh, here. Queen of Wands in the King of Swords, Eight of Wands here, and the Three of Swords. And I feel like what Spirit is saying, by you doing that, you merge your masculine energy and your feminine energy together so that you can take off with the Eight of Wands here, okay? Because if we are overworking and trying too hard we're, we're trying to fit a square into a circle we're too in the masculine right if we're over indulging and not being able to say we're too in the feminine this feels like really balancing these energies out all right but it feels like you're doing that right now by way of leaning into the fun okay which means there was too much in the past there could have been too again too much rigidity, too much trying to fit squares into circles. It's not fitting. It's not working. I'm getting in pay. I'm getting frustrated. I know where I'm supposed to be and I'm not there yet. So spirit is asking you right now. Okay. And, and might I add the three of cups is in the present. So there is lighter energy that you are giving off. You are feeling like free. This is fun. This is childlike energy. This is laughter, you know, and so spirit wants you to lean into that as the more you lean into that, I guarantee you, Leo, you're going to get like a creative spark with this Knight of wands, something that's going to be like, oh my God, like that's it. Okay. So here we go. Last quarter moon in Aries work through your feelings. Okay. All this feeling. Okay. So it's like. Um, your, your feelings are kind of like a compass or kind of like a guide for you around this time. And I definitely feel like they are a way to your creativity, especially any of those, any of you who have been experiencing creative blocks. All right. So that is what I have for you, Leo. I really appreciate you guys. I pray these messages find you well and that they are helpful in your life. For personal readings, you can go to monaeilina.com or hit the link in the description. And please don't forget to hit the like button, of course. All right. I appreciate you guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.